I started doing this panel a long time ago. I've been doing cons really hardcore since about 2005. And I was seeing, back when I was single, back before you. Aww. Back when I was single, I was a bad boy. Hello. She knows, she came to me. So, I was out all the time, and I was trying to figure out what happened uh, in my life. I'll go into that story in a second, but I just want to tell you, I saw what people were doing at these conventions. I saw some of these panels when guys were going, hey, we're going to tell you how to talk to girls. So I sat in on those. I was like, you know what the hell you're talking about? What are you telling these people to do? And I was like, wow, there's something wrong there. Because I was studying all the dating guys because I had recently become single again. I'm going to stay there so I can talk to you guys and see all the guys. See me now? Yeah! I was married. Had a good life. I was doing lots of work uh, on camera. I was acting. I was in Houston. Things were going really well. I had some good success. I was a big fish in a little pond. I thought everything was great with my relationship, with my marriage, with my other business. I had a real estate business alongside my acting business. So I was doing voiceover, on camera, flipping houses, working, all kinds of stuff. And then everything went kaput really, really fast. Very bad. Uh, I lost everything in one shot. I ended up getting divorced, going bankrupt, losing everything I knew, my family, his family, because let me back up. I lost my wife to who, the guy who was my best friend at the time. Oh. <laughs> it gets better! <laughs> I thought things were going okay, I didn't realize they had been having an affair for some time. So, when that happened, I just went, oh crap, that's the end, thank you, good night. And I cut everything cut all my losses, but I lost everything. I had 15 properties at the time, I had a huge house, I had three dogs. Uh, the worst part. <laughs> Nacho, pizza, and burrito. <laughs> so I lost him, I lost everything, and his family was my best friends as well because I had recently lost my mother, I was soon to lose my father, I was soon to lose my wife's uh, second husband, my grandfather, I had my spine fused. Uh, a lot of shit went down in a very short period of time. And I moved to LA and started over with nothing. So that is a hardcore lesson to learn. That your relationship wasn't what you thought it was. Is anyone married here? Don't be afraid. I'm not going to go, oh, really? Well, no. No, it's a, marriage is a wonderful thing. I love marriage. I think it's a fantastic thing. I didn't know what I was doing exactly. I thought I was doing the right stuff. I was not. So when all of this stuff happened, it was horrible. I was distraught. I was as low as I could possibly go. So when I tell you guys what I'm talking about, how I, I gained it back and how I'm writing the books and all the things, it's because I came from the pit, the lowest aspect of my life, and built myself up. There were two options. Die <laughs> or get awesome. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I don't mean that to say, look at how great I am. No, I busted my ass to get where I am. And you can too, you will too. It's all about uh, the learning and, and that, constant, uh, that constant striving to be better. And we'll talk more about that. But I just want to let you know where I'm coming from because in this room of, what do we got here? 300 people maybe, roughly? Is that about right? What does this room hold? I don't know. There's a lot of you. And thank God you're here. Thank you so much for coming out to see me tonight because we're going to have some fun. Uh, yeah. I, one thing I do, I tell you some good shit, but I also make you laugh. We're going to have a good time. You've already seen my other panels, so you know this is going to be silly. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's no doubt about that. <laughs> mm. But the one thing that I, I started doing, and I really mean this from my heart, if anything that I can tell you helps you in your relationship, in your marriage, in your dating life, whatever it is, if I can tell you anything that keeps you from having to go through the shit that I had to go through, I win. I win because you don't have to deal with that. Because something I said helped you. Yes, so I'm hoping that that does happen tonight. And I've had people come up to me later on and say, dude, you saved my relationship. I had no idea about this thing. There's little things that I learned that I'm going to share with you tonight. Um, and at any time, by the way, I always keep it kind of a G rating. Okay, PG. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> PG-13. <laughs> Rated R, PG-13. I, depending on where I am, I started a PG-13. And then I ramp up from there, from your questions. Oh, yeah. So wherever you want it to go, we're going to go. I'm going to start with food, adventure, 
all kinds of fun stuff, and, and we'll go from there. It can get all kinds of body, and I can, look, trust me, I can tell you some shit. <laughs> I know some stuff. Uh, but the whole concept behind don'tkillyourdate.com is to help guys become better men through food, travel, adventure, and being just freaking awesome. That's my goal, and that's what I teach. So you guys ready to play? Yeah! yeah. Excellent! <laughs> Alright. How many ladies we got here? Hold up your hands, I can see. Nice! Oh, ladies, you're going to get to share with your men folk tonight. <laughs> and gentlemen, <No>. listen. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, let's see, where are we going to start here? If you have any suggestions, sweetheart, you just throw them out because you know me better than me. How to add two inches? No, that's later. <laughs> No, no, no. One of the things that what I teach, basically, that no one else is teaching, this is a niche uh, in the dating world, is food game. This is what I call it, food game. Because these guys, there's a lot of dating gurus out there. Who studied some dating gurus? Neil Strauss? Neil Strauss? You know who Neil Strauss is? Anyone know who Neil Strauss is? Everybody heard of The Game? The dating book? The Game? Okay, you guys have heard of that. Alright, I write for Neil Strauss. I write for his blog. I've written several, about four or five articles for his blog. There's another guy, Carlos Zuma. I wrote a whole ten-part series that my book is based on for him. I'm a dating expert for Singles Warehouse UK right now. I've written for Urban Dater. I've now been, uh, I've now contributed to USA Today, CNN, and I recently did a thing for Men's Health. So I do know what I'm talking about. And actually, the part for Men's Health was actually all about um, intensifying your doggy style. <laughs> So if you think I'm just some jackass up here spouting some crap, thank you, kid. <laughs> now let me tell you, one of the things uh, I always like to start off with is the very, very basic thing that women like. Because all my writing is based for men, to help them become better men. But I utilize the things I've learned from women. Uh, in talking with women, whether I'm dating them, whether it's romantic or whether it's just friends or whatever it is, over and over and over again, one thing comes up every time that the women are looking for. I bet one of you women can tell me what the one thing to look for in a man is. That's close. It's, it's, up the top. it's, it's combined with the top. Comfort? Mm, no, it's a C word. Confidence. Thank you. Confidence. You missed the book. <laughs> Ladies love that confidence. Do you not? Yeah. yeah. No, I want a timid man. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you are like, well, yeah, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> I can dominate that little bitch. <laughs> hey, if you do and it works for you, that's the dynamic for our world. But I don't teach that shit. <laughs> I want to help guys become better men. Capital M, capital E, capital N. That's what I want to teach you. Because it is a constant process. It is not something, it's something you have to do every day. You know, you can't just, you know, just walk in and go, I'm a man now, ha ha! <laughs> it's not about that. It's about how you hold yourself. And it is the humor is a very big part of it. There's another guy, um, um, David D'Angelo. Anyone heard of Double Your Dating? Yep. You know what I'm talking about? Well, David D'Angelo is actually Evan Pagan as well. So, you know, marketing, if anybody's ever trading in marketing, which we are right now, in uh, a lot of marketing, he went from the dating stuff to the marketing stuff, which you probably don't give a shit. But it's very important because it's all about business. Business is about confidence as well. I'm actually working on projects right now that take dating and business. Same book, same idea. Happy in the bed, happy in the head. That's cool. It's tweetable. Can you tweet it? Hashtag. Hashtag, happy in the head, happy in the bed, happy in the head. Uh, oh, by the way, if anyone else besides her is uh, filming or audio taping this in any way, shape, or form, please cease and desist immediately for anything I say, and it will be used against me in a court of law. Again. Again. <laughs> this is between you all and me. Because you're here. Everyone else out there ain't. So thank you for coming in. 
because I'm going to talk to you one on one. We're going to talk. I'm going to talk very very serious about stuff. I'm very serious about this, but it's fun and it's silly, and we're going to talk some naughty shit probably too. Awesome. Oh, I can tell. <laughs> I know where I look at you, and I know where this is. At. <laughs> but confidence is a huge aspect of the dating world. So when people tell you, oh, you know, just be a nice guy and go up and get flowers and take her to the restaurant and blah, 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 <laughs> No. Do something exciting. You want to be different. And being confident is being different. Most guys are not. Sorry, guys. It's true. I know I wasn't. I'm not doing this from like, oh, look, I'm a natural. I've always been amazing. <laughs> no. I have done stupid as shit. I failed miraculously. <laughs> I mean, wow, crash, burn, fire, plume. <laughs> like, oh boy, that guy's a creepy bastard. <laughs> yeah, but the book said whole eye contact. <laughs> Is this too long? Should I blink? <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? No reason. I just thought you looked tasty. <laughs> That'll mess you up. <laughs> um, but the one thing I when I wrote my first article for Neil, it was it was called Food Game: The Rhubarb Sarge, and it was all about how I dated. And then here's the reasons why Food Game works so well. If you can cook, that is a skill. It's not just a skill, it's an art. And it also shows that you care for the person you're dating, that you want to do something nice for them. Ladies, who here likes a man who can cook? Look around, fellas. Look around. The ladies like men who can cook. Oh, and that is a double entendre. I'll wait. single in a ball crying in the corner. <laughs> we don't want that shit. <laughs> but that's the food game. And if you learn how to cook, there's so many aspects of it. You've got all the things I just stated before, plus it's cheap. Yes. <laughs> Being a voice actor in LA, I have to watch my pennies. <laughs> so I learned how to do a lot of stuff. But <clears throat> it's amazing how awesome you can cook things for a little money. Like, I, I tell uh, one of the recipes I talk about all the time is the Thomas Keller baked chicken. Who knows who Thomas Keller is? Excellent. How many foodies are here tonight? We got a few. Okay, you're going to get some of the food stuff I'm talking about. Because there's an art to it when you just say, uh, you know, here you go, or some soup. <laughs> what kind is it? Uh, let me find the can. <laughs> Baked over. Done. <laughs> Done. Thank you. Good night. No, 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 no. Uh, you can say, well, this is a cream of uh, mushroom soup with, uh, with some, I know, we got uh, shiitake mushrooms, and there's a bit of tarragon in there, and I slow cooked it for about eight hours, and then, you know, fine, whatever. <laughs> but she's like, I don't even know what the hell you're saying now, but you took some effort. <laughs> you're a good fellow. <laughs> Stop staring! <laughs> Four seconds, four seconds. Stop. But like uh, a Thomas Keller baked chicken, for example, it's one of my favorites, my go-to dish. I'll tell you recipes every now and then, but right now this is my one of my favorites. Um, if who, do you, even if you're not a foodie, do you know how to cook? Anyone? Everybody know a little bit? Oh, awesome! This is good. This is not going to be over your head. It's great. Well, normally you think about a chicken. You make a chicken like 350 for you know an hour, hour and a half, whatever, and then it's slow. Thomas Keller, best chef on the planet does it this way. Takes a heavy pan, it's like a cast iron pan, something like that, it's got a little space to it. He takes the chicken, wash it off, dries it all off, puts salt and pepper on it, inside and out, a good seasoning salt on the top of it, and then a little, maybe tarragon. He trusses it, 
which you know kind of keeps it in. I don't actually trust it. This is cool. If you understand chicken, you'll dig this. The, the skin that's in the back, you cut a slit in that, you stick the legs through that, and you do the other side like that, mm -hmm. it trusts itself. Uh, it saves me two cents on string. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't... You didn't that little thing. Yeah, I mean, it's, well, it's crazy. Cause that, <laughs> besides, that freaking twine breaks in the middle of the thing anyway. But, so you've got this, there's no oil, no nothing. But put that, the oven to 450. And you do it for about an hour. You will have the most succulent, perfect, crusted chicken you've ever had in your life. Right, honey? Yeah. <laughs> she knows. It is good. Uh, the recipes are on my, on my website, don'tkillyourdate.com, by the way. You go up there if you want. You, uh, you get on don'tkillyourdate.com. Sign up for the emails and stuff. I do a, a, a weekly newsletter. I give you some recipes and ideas, tell you what's going on. Uh, and then we're going to do some other stuff as well down the road, the books that come out.